Hello, my beautiful lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. This is Choi Leaves Tarot, where we get to your greatness one tea leaf at a time. All right. So you have a lot of questions. You, as you can see from the title, you saw this because you have left the matrix and you're like, so now what? Universe, what else should I do? I'm not part of the status quo. And by the status quo, I mean, you know, you're you're reading between the lines. You're reading like history. Anything you saw in your textbooks, you're reading the opposite now. And you're like, what is the in-between? You know, there's that's the victor's story. The person who won in the past wiped out histories of other people, other cultures, other humanities, right? And they wrote it in their own way to brainwash. So now that you're out of the status quo in terms of like anything you see on mainstream media, what people are telling you, what are you supposed to do now that you're awakened to this new revelation of greatness? And let's just get into it. Universe has found you for a reason. And let's see what is coming after you have figured out you're about to leave the matrix completely. And that means like you're just going to have, you know, you've unplugged from the internet or you finally see everything with like a wide angle, right? Like you're not falling for the okie doke anymore. You're kind of doing your own research. You're even, you're even researching the person who wrote the book. Like what is the origins? What's missing? Makes you more intelligent in terms of maybe finding, um, cures to societal ailment, ailments, like sicknesses or, even like new cures because you're you're thinking with like your third eye now so like you could find cures for um diseases xyz like this is a great time if you're picking up um new nursing degrees uh doctor like there's just a new there's like the status quo isn't gonna keep it up anymore the people are looking for people who are you know okay this is true this is not true like you just can spit out the like worst parts and like you could see the real from the fake really the higher fan you wow like literally look at this marriage government or public company body corporate official building or official situation yeah you got the corporations you got the corporate like media you got everything turned upside down and you're the captain now like this is what it's giving it's giving you're realizing wow i'm sovereign i'm taking my power back and i'm doing like things rationally safely legally whatever but like you're finding a way and it's like your eyes are open to a new world more you're the most hopeful you've ever been so when people feel down and out you're realizing wow my light can help other people wake up or xyz and and you're like okay the conventional way sometimes is correct but you're like okay, well, I, I want to do my double research and then I'll say, yeah, stick with the other way or the other way, right? Like it's up to you and you are a master of your craft. Look at this young woman to 25 years, spying or deception, reflecting back over your shoulder, page of swords. And here's what it is. Corporations are now doing a lot of da data collection. They're making you, they're, they're collecting data. They're collecting, you know, insider um, information on every app you download, everything you do. It's data, data, data. But for some reason, they can't. No matter how much they have drones or intellectual property that can follow you and all this other stuff, their AI cannot figure you out. You're like literally tapped in but tapped out if that makes sense like you're not in the matrix but you're in a like a superior kind of mind frame where you're not affected by external validation external concepts you're open to everything whether it's something that was missing from your textbooks growing up or just something you just never read maybe it's in the textbook but you didn't look for it you're just like okay let me go i don't you're you're not finding the normally credible sources credible anymore as you can tell you kind of see okay there is truth in everything a little bit but let me just do my research let me just be the person maybe you're a sherpa like you can lead people to a better idea so for example i'm not talking about like let's say you have an um an art store maybe your art 
just um, like is more healing than the normal types of art, whatever they say. Because it's like you see that type of art as money laundering and people don't care about that type of art, corporate art anymore. They're like, what type of art do you have? This looks beautiful. Maybe you're drawing scenarios of like real world scenarios that will inspire the next person to find the real cure for cancer, to go to med school, to make it to their next course. Whatever it is, it's like a web. And you're like, wow, I feel like I'm finally above the clouds. Like there's no turbulence. I can see the earth from a further distance, right? And so now you're like, wow, everything is even clearer. Let's see what you should do. Knight of Cups. Young man to 25 years needing more confidence. Yeah, work on your confidence, A, because you you got here for a reason. You found this video for a reason. This message is specifically for you because you are ready. So now you need to feel ready, right? Like, so if you are deciding what you should do next in life, whether it's an art, whether it's starting your own company, whether it's finally like tapping into history and learning your own history, maybe it's like, family history or just like the history of America or the history of different worlds and cultures that haven't been researched by the supposed actual, you know, quote unquote, um, experts, right? Like the experts were just not really experts. There's like the head brainwashers and then there's everybody else keeping status quo and saying, yeah, that makes sense. And then you have the media that kind of validates what you're seeing. And then you have corporations pouring into media and that like just so everybody's on the same page. That's where you get um, Mandela effects or what is it called? The Mandela experience where you think something happened and nothing happened. And you guys all kind of remember it. But like someone in the media says like that never happened. Right? Like it's it's very interesting you should google it but more importantly king of pentacles people are sick of giving their money to these propagandizers right and you're like you know what if i need to know how to make organic regenerative farming that in itself is such an eye-opening experience maybe you're making a youtube maybe you're sharing your knowledge and you're like that's at least i can start there by starting my own um you know uh, garden or looking toward other awakened gardeners and you're like wow that's regenerative farming meanwhile you're finding out well did you even know for example there's like gmo modified cotton and then there's the difference between the organic version so you can have microplastics or glyphosate built into things that make everything toxic from beginning to end and so you're like you know what if i even find out one thing is toxic maybe you're making a blog post maybe you're telling one friend hey did you know blah 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 right like anything you find just google like um the many recalls of food items a lot of things have to do with our air food cloud seeding whatever it is maybe just telling one other person or writing a poem about it or writing a mural about it is just enough to spark the mind that can change the world and you help in that type of way like you're causing a ripple effect and it's bigger than what you think like those little items the big things are hidden in the little things and that's what your expertise is. Hone in on that and the money will flow to you as well because it's like, oh, this is beautiful art. It looks like it's teaching me something. Maybe you're making a shirt that has like a cool question on it. Whatever it is, king of pentacles, man over 25 years, dark eyes and dark hair. If you don't look like this or you don't meet someone who looks like this, it's business, arrogance, powerful. You are going to be on top of your game okay queen energy king energy business mode okay arrogance powerful because you started off needing more confidence and you really did your work and now because of your confidence boost your self manifestation of greatness you're really like you know what i believe i am 
able to change the world. Like, I can't do it alone. I need my friends, my family. I want community. This is your time to build a community. This is your time to reach out to the fellow netizens. One by one, it's like if you tell one person, each one, teach one, reach one, right? Like, you're going to do a great things. And what are, whether it's you have your own company or working at work or whatever it is, like you're going to work nine to five, you're still awake. The fact that you're awake doing that makes you realize, oh, I'm not giving up my hobbies. I'm not giving up like things I love to do and learn and having great camaraderie, right? Like that is, you're not in the rat race, race anymore. You're enjoying every step. You're like stopping to smell the flowers. You're touching grass and you're like, well, not every grass because some of them has like fertilizer or pesticides. But the fact that you even know that is like, wow, your life, lifetime's ahead. And you know what? Some people take a little longer to get out of like the, you know, the system of like just, just being asleep to it because they have to just get to work. They're just busy. I don't have time for this. But you, you're an awakened soul. So you are sent here to figure things out, to add one little thing that is going to go down in history because it's like a spinoff. You don't even know what it's going to do, but you do know like that one thing. Maybe you're learning how to crochet today or whatever it is. You're learning one little skill that is going to transcend because a lot of people are looking to learn manufacturing skills, bring back the talent pool. There's like so many brain drains. There's so much education and like there's so many educated people without common sense. And then there's people with common sense without education. And then you have the in between. You're kind of like in between. You're educated. You know what to do. But you're also like, okay, I'm not going to poo poo the people who are like a little more homeopathic versus medicine versus pharma, right? But you understand big pharma does run a lot of things. But you're not going to discount the fact that like maybe medicines have been put here and they're usually, you know, the plants and the whatever that help some people so you're like I know how to balance I'm not like those like there's some people who just like go totally off grid or totally off the um whatever you're part of like the change makers the people who are like no I can tell there are some things that work there's some things that need improvement and I'm gonna start where I can and if that means as simple as writing a poem, writing some art, starting your YouTube page, going to work and talking about it, whatever it is, you're going to like spark new ideas, new thoughts, and this will keep spiraling. So it's your time. Look at this, the shadow, the shadow government, the shadow, whatever that like, it's like a force field. This is what is keeping a lot of people in a slumber. That's over with because denial is a river in Rome. I mean, not Rome, Egypt. <laughs> but maybe that's why it's like roaming around. It's like a little snake. It's beautiful. It means rebirth. The river is really like it's giving cleansed. And you're like, you know what? I know that there's microplastics. There's runoff. There's XYZ. Maybe you're focusing on the environment and you become like a voice like you're, you know how there's, for example, in the US, if you go right now to like the FDA site, there's open discussions where the people who live here can write their two cents about, hey, yeah, can you make sure you guys don't put toxins in our food anymore? Or, you know, the EPA has the same thing. They put like open periods for the general public, but they don't tell the public to do it. It's mostly attorneys know and XYZ, but it's literally for everyone with no education. It doesn't matter. You could do it anonymously or not. You could say, okay, well, there's rivers that are poisoned. Can you figure that out and make it illegal? or blah 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 like this is how you being awakened to those pages and knowing and just even starting with a quick google and knowing google is bought by the same corporate media but at least that's a starting point right so it's like until you know go look at who's on the board of directors of google if that helps go look on who wrote what science papers xyz and then just connect the dots are they are they seemingly backed by venture capitalists? Are they on an agenda? Is this a chain of company or is it a family company? And if it's a family company, is it like five hundred years of like a a person that has been doing damage in your community or not? It's up to you to figure this out. 
because you have this gift, okay? And so just start where you can. Write out your your vision of like what is a, a beautiful like world that I can see. And universe will start like showing you different clues. Let's see what else you should look out for. Universe, what should the collective, whoever resonated with this reading? And don't forget to like and subscribe and join the tribe. We're going to keep you like headed to greatness and also like um just see your skills blossom and honestly you're gonna make a lot of money i definitely see that happening because people are gonna appreciate like shifting their money they're like we've been wasting it on toxic thoughts art toxic everything and even if it's good stuff they're just gonna like be so like once they wake up they're gonna be like whoa where are the leaders where are the people who knew this before i did and it's like they're gonna give credit where it's due and be like you know what here's a token for your time you are just so amazing so ahead of your years four of swords look at this like it's like hey you're kind of like a sensei like a teacher a professor you're and it's not like you're like genuinely a professor. It's just like someone looks to you as a wise person, as a strong person, both mentally strong and a like fortitude strong, emotionally balanced. So this is good. Look out like um your community as it grows. You become like an unexpected like role model and you're like you know what I could do these the right way like healthy way not like the status quo weird way where everybody's been taken advantage of or I mean just look at Holly weird if you want to see the closest way of like how deep the rabbit hole goes but universe what else should we know what is a good message for the collective regret interesting I know that I cannot change the past exactly you have to understand that. It's like, okay, so you fell for it in the first, like, half of your life or however long. It's okay to know now that everything is, like, you know, a farce or that there was a lot of propaganda. You're never too old, too young, too anything to start today, okay? And that's why you say, I know that I cannot change the past. Exactly. You can't change the past. You can work on yourself right now, enjoy right now, and that changes the present and the future, okay? So that is what you need to think about. So imagine if you knew like, oh, I wish I didn't get that, or I wish I did this differently. I wish, I wish, I wish, nah, nah. You need to be like, I'm thankful now that I know this, and this is opening doors for me right now, and in the future, it's like even gonna show off even better. So you know what I mean? Be thankful now and don't regret like that you got it wrong or you think you dated the wrong people or you went to the wrong ideas or you did the wrong degree or whatever it is. No regrets, okay? You're only um, thankful that you at least came out of this. Universe, what other messages do we need to know? Ooh, of course. Look at your tea leaf message. Controlled opposition, period. You are like, now you watch like everything, whether it's like a YouTube or um tv or whoever it is you watch everybody with like a side eye that they might have been controlled opposition right what does that mean so let's say you usually watch um let's say a mainstream media news channel they got the election wrong and now all of a sudden one of them changes their mind overnight so that they look like they're they're like oh i told you so now they're trying to pretend they weren't telling you something else like a month ago and they're trying to go against the grain they're maybe lying right like all of a sudden another thing comes up and they're um they seem like they're on your side or the other side now all of a sudden they're inverted it's it's like it's controlled opposition. It's controlled by the same puppet masters want to look like they have someone who's pro and against them just so it looks like not suspicious. You know what I mean? Because people aren't realizing all the same channels say the same thing. And that's why the third party, the people, the comment sections, the like real life people who show up to work and touch grass really decided different like moves, right? And so anybody who's giving you like fake advice or whatever just do your research and it, i'm not saying everybody because they might be authentically on the other side but if they're controlled opposition 
that's the problem. Don't just be like excited, like, see, they finally agree with me or, oh, see, they don't agree with me. So therefore they must be balanced in their views. Nah, this person's paid by the same puppet master, two people, one left, one right, paid by the same uniparty deep area. Okay. So whether it's like the lobbyists or they're backed by the same people, you should look out for the outliers, not the bad outliers, because there's people who always want to do it wrong. The good outliers, people who have morals, character, and fitness, people who genuinely see through the smoke. And then, you know, they're, they might not be perfect because nobody really is, but you're going to start seeing consistency like the the military industrial complex let's say for example if they fall for that that means like they're just still part of the controlled opposition if they're like all of a sudden changing sides right you're like oh you're all just funded by the same people follow the money universe what else does the collective need to know right now Okay, this is your tea leaf message. So there's ritual to get you more clarity faster. So you can start your amazing new journey. Triple leaf tea. Ooh, so number three might have to do with it. So rose black tea, fragrant rose and aromatic black tea, romantic, smooth and delightful, traditional rose congu black tea, delicious, hot or iced. Again, with the like polarities, cold, hot, but you're somewhere in the middle and you're, you're having like a beautiful, you know how it's like, I, ironically, you took off your rose colored glasses, but you're sipping on how amazing you are for even getting out. So the rose isn't rose colored, you know, like you're still in the matrix. No, this is more like now every day you're stopping smelling the flowers. You're like, wow, I see the world in a different way. And I'm even more thankful and I can't wait to start. It's like a romantic journey and you're bringing community into your life. You're educating people as you go and you're just having a great time. All right. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.